Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to discuss how to set up bleeds properly in an InDesign file. Uh, that's a question we get a lot here at Spartan Printing is, is how to set up bleeds, so we're going to go over that. This should just take a couple of minutes. So the first thing you want to do is open InDesign and you're going to create a new document. We'll just do an 8.5 uh, eight by 11, just for argument's sake. So when you open your file, what you're going to see is um, a blank page if you don't have your bleeds set up. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can, you can create your file this way or we'll go ahead and close this. Um, you can also set up your bleeds right when you create the new document. Down here at the bottom you'll see this bleed and slug. You're going to open that up and for bleed, what we want here is 8 inch bleeds. So we're going to set that up and if you notice here we have um, the make all settings same button selected and so we're going to make that eighth of an inch so uh, if you then open that you'll see this red line and that actually shows what your uh, bleed settings are now the next step once you have your file set up is uh, to actually make sure that you have bleeds set up correctly in the actual artwork so what we're going to do is i'm just going to use this this piece of art here and uh, drag it into my file so we'll zoom out a little bit so we can kind of see what we're working on. And um, I'm going to scale it. Now, typically, um, what we see a lot is artwork that is placed uh, right to the trim edge. And that is noted here by a black line. So what we're going to do is rather than place it to that edge, you want to actually make sure that your artwork extends at least to that red bleed line, if not a little bit farther. Um, if it extends past it, it's not a big deal. Um, we just want to make sure it extends at least to that line. So once you do the um, do the setup for your job, you can make sure that the, the artwork, artwork extends at least to that line, if not uh, past it. You want to then uh, make sure that you save a PDF for us, uh, for our use, um, that does include that bleed. So. Uh, what you're going to do then is actually you're going to save uh, your artwork. Uh, we'll just call this Monet because this is a, a painting by Monet. And then when you create your PDF, I will do a Command E, save the artwork, save the PDF of your of your file. Um, I usually just save right to my desktop, and then this will come up with. Um, the export PDF settings. So now I have a setting called press bleeds because I do this type of, of thing a lot. But in general, what you're going to use is something like press quality. So you'll see press quality, and you want to make sure you come down to marks and bleeds, and you want to either say use document bleed settings, and you can see it populates with one eighth of an inch. Or if you don't have bleed set up the way I did, you actually will physically need to go in here and then enter the eighth of an inch and then uh, simply export. You can also save this setting out, save this preset if you are going to do this kind of work a lot, um, save it out so then you'll have it for future use. So um, we also want to make sure that when we do this that we do not add crop marks, bleed marks, any of that. We really don't need it here. Our system is set up to accommodate files with the bleeds already set up and then from there you just export. So that is how you set up bleeds and how you export your PDF with bleeds out of InDesign. If you've got any questions, I am always available via email or phone. Thanks.